I don't I don't fit into those things okay so I don't like to use the word wife and I don't like to use the word husband because I don't think that it describes me based on what I know those words mean um, <clears throat> and I don't I prefer to use a different word that is better suited for what type of bond I have with Helene so I use the word mate and I use the word mate because it means to be a pair of or a set of something that's like made from the same thing oh and look he's he's on his way home he just sent me a message <laughs> and um that it's a you're made from the same from the same source and made of the same things so um I call him my mate because he's my soul's mate and both of our souls to me that means that both of our souls are made of the same thing and um made from the same source but they're he's not uh, uh, my, he's not my only soulmate, but he is my, he is the biggest, the biggest parts of my soul live inside of him. So, uh, so we connect to each other on a much deeper level. Like we may find pieces of ourselves in other people because pieces of ourselves do live in other people. Um, but our connection with them may not be as strong because it's a small piece. So, um, uh, I often think about <clears throat> about the way that I define my relationship with him and how other people think that our relationship is something different. Hey, so people joining now and stuff. Okay, so I often think about my relationship uh, and how it is different than what other people expect from relationships and the way that other people define relationships and i've been having more and more experiences where people are saying things to me like uh and to him too like oh uh, you a married woman i can't do that or you marry y'all like or your wife don't have no problem with that or they're like surprised by or they'll say oh you lucky to have that in your relationship or they they really are I, they, I can tell by the things that they're surprised about that what they're hearing about my relationship is not the norm for them or what they think about relationships so it made me think so many things because um it makes me think about like by whose definition are you defining what a relationship is or what a marriage is in particular like are you using uh, are you defining it by what your religion says a marriage is you defining it by what your parents told you it is are you let me make sure my microphone on okay are you are you defining it by um what society tells you it is or are you defining your marriage by what you think it is and if at one point like if the answer is like you know that it's not you if you choose any of the other and those other answers like you got to really think about making your own definition for what marriage is because your marriage is your marriage so you have to define it for yourself yours is going to be unique because you and your mate are two unique people so the way the two of you are going to relate to each other is going to be unique you can't fit into a box so I noticed that when you get married and I did not think about this because I wasn't thinking about what other people would say about my relationship. But when you get married, they put you, and you put yourself into a box that says, okay, to be married means this, and a marriage is this, or in a marriage you do this, or a wife is this, or a husband does this. Like you have made up this box full of all of these shoulds and supposed to's and expectations based on whatever you define marriage by and but I noticed that when I'm like, I did that at first, but then being in it, like that's what made me get in it. But once I was in it, I realized that, oh, those don't apply to me. But I'm noticing like people really do that. Like 
uh, it's interesting to see the patterns that are emerging as I'm entering like different phases in my life and as I'm growing in my relationships that these new things are showing themselves that really people really do put themselves in a box when they get married based on what they think oh no this is how it's supposed to be and then like I've been experiencing too where people um, are having a hard time staying in that box because it doesn't work for their relationship so they're both unhappy or trying to force something or control something because they think it's supposed to go a certain way instead of it looking at it like well we're two adults individuals that need to live in harmony so we need to like listen to each other and and craft our relationship based on what we both need from each other not what somebody else told us marriage is because we're in one so now like I know that and Helene feels the same way like I wouldn't have gone through the rituals of being married because I would have just been together with him I wouldn't have felt guilty guilty about it we'd have just been together like we are now without having them gone through the ritual of being married because at one point I was defining my marriage based on religion and I was grown I, I was raised Muslim and you're not supposed to be living with somebody and and my father's Christian too so I was raised Christian and Muslim so and, and both you're not supposed to be married to nobody or living with somebody if you not married you're not supposed to be having sex made them with them unless you're you've gone through that ritual and that's it, it that that's if uh like they, they tell you that a marriage is is a what is it called monogamous relationship where the man has a specific role and the woman has a specific role and these are the roles you have to fill and it is based on a patriarchal religion uh, and so it, and it has a lot of possess possessiveness in it and those are not things that I, be I believe in and I never thought about how like I was being controlled by it like I got married because I used to feel guilty for having sex if I wasn't married and um, so I wanted to and then then because I identified as Muslim the ritual that I felt like was yeah this is I, my, my union has to be approved by my creator uh, so I have to do it this way because this is the one religion that I believe in the most so I did it in a, a masjid we went I still got, I, I did a t-shirt, I didn't even get all jazzed up. For our actual other ceremony, like I had on a gown and everything, a dress and all of that, but when we went through the ceremony, the ritual that was the most important to me at the time, we were in a masjid and it was, but it was just so much going around that, trying to fit into that box. But now I wouldn't have felt, I, if I didn't go through that at that time, if I believed what I still what I did then, I would have felt guilty if I hadn't gotten married because I believe very strongly in that religion and those val those values that it taught. And but now I know that if I with with who I am today, what I believe today, I know I wouldn't have felt guilty if I didn't get married and we were still together now. But anyhow, because of the things that I've been noticing. And those, all those assumptions, I know in summation that I do not fit into those, that role or that, that terminology doesn't describe what I am. Especially so the, the, the so that's why I use mate. No. So what inspired me to talk about it today because I've had so many experiences with it. Like Helene's friend said that we should counsel couples and stuff. and and talk to couples about their relationships and help them because of the way we connect with each other. We, we are an example. And I was like, is it really that difficult to just get along with somebody or be with the person that you like and, <laughs> and y'all like actually enjoy being around each other and talk to each other? But uh, the, today, this morning, I had this experience um, and I was like, okay, I gotta talk about it. So my cousin, my cousin, um, he he's my favorite person like my, my second favorite person Halil is my first but he's like definitely one of my favorite most favorite people and I love talking to him and we've talked all our lives and at any time of day any time of night and he didn't want to send me a, he didn't want to call me when he got off work because it was late and he was like you a married woman and it was like 10 it was like around 10 or something that he got off work and he didn't want to call me and I was thinking 
what? That sounds bananas to me. That I understood that based on what he knows about marriage, that uh, he was like, he was, he was joking when he said it, but so many people believe that, like they should not be talking to me or calling me after a certain time or can't have a conversation with me or can't still talk to me and um, that because I'm married. And um, it just reminded me of that. And I was like, I gotta talk about this because, so I said in response to him that, um, because he he used the words married woman, I was like, well, the you know I said all of the things the things that I had just mentioned that how it doesn't it must not apply to me and more and more like I've been trying to make the words reflect what I the words I use reflect what I believe and I I can't call myself wife or marry in that way if that's what people like assume that that means for my life and I don't want to have to always explain how I feel about it so I just but I know that I'm going to have to start doing that if I want to like spark a conversation about uh, that will change the way people look at their relationships and things then I have to talk about what I think about relationships and so <clears throat> that being said I wanted to talk about what's, what's, what's my time okay 11 minutes okay all right I'm doing good so we're halfway through so um I'm gonna pull up I gotta stop this that video